By now, Izzy was beside herself. She had no news of Colin, and her animals and birds had been left unattended all day. She had nothing to eat save a curly cheese sandwich. And to top it all, no one believed her about the accident. Over and above that, there was a small matter of them losing their farm, their home and their livelihood. She paced. It seemed like she'd been held for hours. The interview room door opened. What now, she thought. Sorry for the delay, Inspector Adams went on, but we needed to check your story, and since we cannot question Colin... Can't question Colin? Here we go again. Why not? She was most insistent. Uh, well, don't you know? Know what? I've been locked up in this bloody room all day. Language, please, Mrs Griggs. What happened to my Colin? Where is he now? He's not. She hesitated. Dead, is he? She could hardly bring herself to say the words. Of course not, Mrs G. Adams was trying to make light of the situation. He just had a little accident. I know that. That's what I've been trying to tell you all day. No, 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 I, I appreciate that. No, this was an accident in the hospital. His words trailed away. Look, Inspector Adams, I'm normally an easy-going, devil-may-care sort of person, but today is enough to drive even a saint to do something they'd regret. Look, let me see Colin. Let me go. Let this bloody day be over. I understand your frustration, Mrs G. And stop calling me Mrs G. She was seething. Sorry, Mrs Griggs. We've had, correcting himself, a difficult situation on our hands here and we needed to be sure of our facts before making any decision. Please, I ask you, just bear with me a short while longer. With that, Adams smartly turned and left the room. Inspector Adams, she called after him. Inspector Adams, what about my Colin? She screamed at the closing door. Adams kept walking. He headed straight for the desk sergeant. Can you get an update on Griggs and tell me and Mrs Griggs as soon as? No, 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 thinking about it, just tell me. I'll tell her. Colin had regained consciousness. He'd had the injury he'd sustained in his last accident dressed also. He now had large cotton pads over both ears, all held in place with metres of bandage. With double black eyes, he had taken on the appearance of some alien creature out of Doctor Who. However, his sedation, combined with the attentive and caring labours of Nurse Tanya, meant he'd lost any desire to escape his hospital bed, and was in fact resigned to stay put. <laughs>